everybody. Uh, I am starting real late tonight. It's 11 o'clock here, just about. But, uh, I was playing with some stuff, so... And it took a little bit longer than expected. But, got some cool stuff coming down the pipe. But for now, we're gonna play more Gex. Super late, bro, right? Yeah. I, uh, I gotta do an Elgato, and I was setting that up, and it was not playing nicely. But, isn't it past my bedtime? My bedtime was like four hours ago, dude. Take a nap when I get home from work. Usually after dinner. And, uh, that actually went on a little bit longer than usual today, too, so. Yeah. I'll play for, like, an hour and a half, two hours tonight. Not gonna stay up super late, but we'll sleep. By the way, nice, uh, nice stream earlier. Which one did I get? I got the HD60 Pro. Knocking stuff over. This guy. So, everything's PCIe now. More USB bus. That also means that I don't have to completely disassemble my, uh, my streaming setup. Should I decide to go back to Red Racer's house and stream there at any point? It's all in the rig. A few less wires, too. A few. There's still a lot of wires. A lot of wires. But, uh... Yeah, I got the internal card. You're probably gonna see a lot of blue when I click the stream scene, so... Oh, good! Yeah, I was playing around with stuff. But forgot how badass that intro song was actually. We go ahead. Alien race that find that. Adam Sandler funny. Oh, that level. <laughs> that level. That level wasn't fun. Yeah. The media dimension. Okay. So, yesterday we got a lot of progress, actually. 42%. Figured. Uh. Oh, did I not load? Wait a second. <laughs> I didn't load, that's why. It's like, why isn't the gate opening? I just hit start. That was my problem. There we go. Yeah, we did make it pretty far yesterday. Uh, not quite 100%ing each level. I have to go back and look for some hidden remotes, but I think so far... Let's see. That level's done, that level's done. I need a hidden remote. That one's done. I need a hidden remote. I need a hidden remote. That one's done. Thursday the 12th. Am I going for 100%? Uh, it'd be nice. You certainly don't have to 100% the game to beat it. And I don't 
know that there's anything special for doing that. Aside from just getting more levels and bragging rights. I've done it before, I just don't remember. That one's done. That one's done. Alright. That might be a hidden ending. I honestly don't remember. Climb the tree or storm the castle. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna probably just wander around aimlessly until I find one. This is like a luau at Mel Blanc's house. I would probably go to a luau at Mel Blanc's house. A man of a thousand voices. You dodged my flying sidekick, you stationary plant. Manual camera, because fuck that noise. Oh, come on. At least it's pretty easy to get the, um... The, uh... Collection remote. You just get looks like Bugs Bunny after the trucks. Thirty of one thing, forty of another thing, and then fifty of another thing. Oh god, that was a death. Starting out strong. Would Cheech and or Chong report to the front desk? All right, well I can kill the piranhas again. I think Gex 3 has a hidden ending if you get all of them. Oh yeah, there's extra. Uh, once you hit 30 of 1, um, all the ones in the immediate area change to the second one. And then, if you go back through areas, they may respawn in different locations. Oh, come on! It's tail time. What's that, Mr. Bug? Mm. Timmy's trapped down a well? How do I get across there? Oh, that probably works. Quack. We're on the road to nowhere. Motherfucking bee. This is from Mr. Sinatra. Fucking bees. Fucking turd nuggets. Alright, I kinda remember hating this part. Actually, it's funny, the further I get into this game, the more it goes from fond memories to just anger. Frustration. Pain. Suffering, you know, the bit.
Slip of the tongue. <laughs> oh. Well, I was going to try to cheese it. That's what I get for trying to cheese it! How do I get up there, though? Oh, what the fuck? Hey, forget about it. Come on, dicks. Just because your name rhymes with sex doesn't mean you can fuck this up! The, the floating things. That's probably how I get over there. Hey! How's my health? I got one hit point missing, so I can... Uh, I can use that, why not? Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. TNT. Awesome. Can I break this? I suppose no. Oh. Bunny nuts. You gotta really time that. Just got to my kick, Stalin. I see. What is with this camera angle? Oh man, getting those inside ones are going to be tough.
Ah, staying on the platforms is gonna be tougher! Never the time, baby. I gotta make. All right. What is this fuckery? Hey, I feel like I'm trapped in Boy George's pants. You. Never the time, man. That takes me back to the boat. The boat. Bullshit. Oh, I just almost died. Pardon my tongue, darling. God damn it. Alright, this is some bullshit. <laughs> it's a door that just says ha 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 on it. Okay. Why am I a duck? What the duck? I'm a fuck. Forget about it. All right, so we can stop collecting useless bullshit. By his own bullet. I didn't know that. All right. Okay. Oh God. Look, I just wanted the gift hey. shop in the bathroom. On nads, that means I'm like, all oh, the boats open, but I have to go all the way back up that bullshit. Tip of the tongue. <laughs> well, I missed. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. 
Fuck. You dokey. Nip of the dog, baby. I'm gonna go back up the baloney tower. Why was that so much easier this time? Fuck that up. Yep, I fucked that up. Maybe I can come back. if I go back through the door. Ah, that's great. Why don't you get back on the can of tuna? Can't see. Still can't see. Oh, God! Camera, I set you to manual. What are you doing? Oh my god. Alright, fine. Send me auto. Seeing as you're gonna fight me every step of the goddamn way. Oh my god. Barrels are not back, so we're going for the other one. And remember, kids, never buy marmalade from a guy in a top hat. Solid advice. Sorry, Charlie. What? I guess Bowser's on vacation? This is like a luau at Mel Blanc's house. Be behind here? Maybe? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Second. 
mean I'm not 99.9% .9 clean? Yes! Oh, camera. What is happening? Alright, well, that works. Cool. I was thinking that the hidden remote was in another place. Bonus round. Forget about it. All right, now we're climbing the tree. Yeah, we saw it. Look, I just wanted the gift shop and the bathroom. Well, I can help you with none of those things, Gex. Cause I didn't see a gift shop or a bathroom. Boing. Oh, this bullshit again. Ah, oh, look at that, I already fell. That was almost dumb. Oh god. Hey, look at that. Speed run. Oh. How much for speed run? Oh no, I'm too young to have a second childhood. Oh, I was way too early on that. Oh! Look at that. A second childhood. Face my tail. So much for speed run. Oh. Brought to you by Up Chuck Chuck. Get go chop, baby. Alright, we got this. Just gotta know to slow it down, take it easy. Note to self, don't step on any brown, mushy rocks. Too late. Too late, Gex, sorry. You uh, may want to scrape your shoes. Boing, boing. Fucking... 
Alright. Put that camera back to manual, because fuck the auto camera. Ah. Shit. Alright. No biggie. We got this. <clears throat> we got this. See what's up there. Balls. Watch me use my tail to kick your butt. Not worth it. Oh my god, Gex, come on. Jump on the fucking tree. This room is done. The power strikes out in Mousy Tom. Steinfeld. Alright, so... Alright, so I'm only missing three of them. Cool. We shall return for those. It's tail time. The spy who loved himself. Jesus, my phone is blowing up every time I go live. Sorry about that, Chief. Oh. That was the acid. Oh. Well, you're good that I came back down. Ah, balls. Oh, behave, baby. <laughs> Doing really bad. Don't call for Matt Hill. Don't call for who? Aw, oh, what the fuck? Never the time, baby.
and see. Licking the way to the top. Oh, what? Out of sound channels. I'm running out of time. Actually, have to get all of them. That's a change. You're nothing, B. You're nothing. All these doors. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. How the fuck? Aww. Am I saving? Now that's what I call getting some Hey! Junker contributed sticks to the Stick Plays Dark Souls Prepare to Die Challenge. What's going on, Junker? Well, this level must have been made by Kubrach. Thank you for contributing to the community goal. Ah, uh, shit. Everything good? Yeah, same here. Well, except my Gex skills, but, you know, there was never really a question there. How you been, man? I've seen you streaming quite a bit lately. I've been meaning to pop in, but, uh... I also saw you had a lot of growth recently. You're, you've got quite a number of followers now. That's awesome, dude. Okay. Where do I go? Oh, here we go. Just a moment. <laughs> These doors. Right, so how do I get? Whoa. That's how. Oh, he's in his a leisure suit now. Okay. Good lord. Okay. Oh 
come on. I can't there we go. Feel very good about Switch, trying to balance it with a job. Dude, same. I got a 9 to 5 Monday to Friday. I should have gone to bed like two hours ago. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm just happy to see you doing so good. I need one more. How about that. Alright. Poltergex. Uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Gecko. Or this old cave. Alright, we'll do this old cave. Get that one out of the way. Watch for falling lava. Dodge the steam vents. Bounce up the flowers. Uh, I don't know. One day soon, there'll be a smoke-belching factory here. Blueprints for a wheel. So uh, as soon as we cut down this pesky rainforest, there'll be room for a new strip mall. <laughs> Ah, all right. I hate these levels. There's plenty more where this came from, baby. Hate that camera more than anything. One day soon, there'll be a smoke belching factory here. All right. Oh god, this thing again. Cut! Stun Gecko! Ladies and thing! All I hear is insane loon music. Yup. Come on, Lozo. Oh god. We have made out of ice. Does that mean I'm invincible to lava? Making dinner, which is just breakfast with bacon, scrambled eggs, dude. Nothing wrong with that at all. Forget about it! Anything with the craving! Emergency match. For Og. I feel like I need to make that like a profile picture. <laughs> my doctor said my lanta. Well, I still want to get all the things, so let's go this way. Wow, well, less than 160p image of Gex next to Og. I know, right? I'm 
invincible. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. What am I supposed to do here? Just jump? Yeah, that worked out real well. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Cave babe paintings of calendars. Go deeper. Can I climb this? No. Night at James Earl Jones house sounds kind of nice. Wait, am I just stupid? That's the way I came from. Alright, yeah, I'm just stupid. <laughs> Dinosaur coins. Good lord, the camera. 
Sadly, I checked out a video that explains a few of his references. Most are just so bottom tier, even back then. Fire in the hole! My tail's gonna kick your butt. Awesome. Forgot to check out the guy's stand up. I do actually want to check into that. Some of this platforming is bottom tier. Alright, I guess I shouldn't say that. It's not like Rascal. It is dead, though. Guess they went back a grand total of 30 feet. Design-wise, he doesn't come off dated. Personality-wise, he does. That's why we need a modern Gex game. So all the millennials that played this as a kid and didn't understand any of the references can have their own. I'll take shit to their, uh, burn to death for a hundred, Alex. Reminisce, and complain about. Be like a bunch of family guy references. Fire in the hole! Cool. cool. I didn't see a hidden remote anywhere. And my whole face itches right now. Silla versus Mecha Rez. Tail time. Okay, whose job was it to mow the lawn? Yours, Gex. It was yours. Quit. Quit uh, dodging your responsibles. Is there like a thing back here that I'm missing? No? Oh, yeah. Yeah, tail time. Dex Max food. Taste my tail! I really should have came this way looking for No 
sign of a hidden remote. I know what you're thinking. It's tail time. Charge the steam vents. Okay. Dr. Zayas, would an ape make a human doll that talks? Two webs, how's it going? This is mine. Hey! What is that? Code cheese is a carti clone? Code cheese is a carti clone? Oh shit! Get the fuck out of here! Whoa! Thank you, doing, Thank you for the follow, both of you! Thank you guys! Appreciate that. I'm looking at my phone and it's blowing up. Like, I just want to play my game! And then people start showing up. How is everybody tonight? Are you fucking pterodactyl? I wanted that fly. Alright, fuck you too. Gecko shall not kill Gecko! Loser! You're a loser! <laughs> are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! You I see you have found the sound alerts. And I died. Three more, and I have the whole set. It's a load of barnacles. Oh, come on. Imagine oh, Hank Hill reference pack. Yes, that would be... That would be something. Dumbass bird is like flying straight into the Dude, lava. My tail's gonna kick your butt. By the way, if you guys run out of points, there's more uh, more sound alerts if you hover over the stream and click the little purple icon. Oh, right. Okay. I want to I know what Taco Night in James Earl Jones' house is like. That sounds like an experience. Licking my way to the top. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! You make me sick, you big well, baby! Would you look at that? I think I missed that the first time I came through here. I don't know. Beam me up, Scotty. Well, we did it. We beat the level.
noise. Ooh. I got the reruns. I would make every reference in this game just so bad. Like, in a prison level, he'll enter like, I heard Bill Cosby looks really nice in orange these days. There's another joke in there. Based off of a TV show that I've not seen. There it is. Bonus round! Find the items in the given time. Just like every other bonus. TVs. A big one. I'm coming, Elizabeth. 99. Wow. Alright. I'm rather proud of that sound bite. Shock of rock. This is Oh, jeez, camera, what are you doing? Gex make an Epstein reference? I think so. Oh, absolutely. We need another Gex game. Pretty sure the whole game is about spending too much time watching TV anyway. Spend too much time watching TV, you, uh get sucked into it. Yeah. That one was actually really easy. Where can I buy this game? I've had it for ages. Uh, probably buy it at like a thrift store. Uh, Van Osdell said, I just bought Gex, End of the Gecko, Gex 3, Deep Cover Gecko, Rayman 2 Revolution, and Maximo Ghost to Glory on digital PS3. Nice. I stick ready, ready to chill for some Gex, End of the Gecko. Sorry if I'm missing a couple of you guys, because everyone's showing up as lime green in my chat for some reason. So I may see a name and think it's someone else, but uh, welcome everybody. Glad to see some new faces in. Is it on Steam? I don't think it's on Steam. Uh, but it sounds like they're both on PS3. I don't know about the original Gex. That one probably not. I don't know, maybe. You're horny for Gecko? Oh boy. I believe there are websites that can accommodate your needs. The ad said Beverly Hills adjacent. Well, we haven't seen the outside, Gex. Are we are we adjacent to Beverly Hills? Here's oh, long as there's peak now. Horny gecko. Horny <laughs> gecko spread on my bed. <laughs> oh god. Why would I not be surprised if that was an actual URL? I'm 
gonna go beat my Mega Meat to Gecko Seal. <laughs> hey, whatever, uh, whatever floats your scroat. I don't judge. This is judgment for you. I wanted the pit fair and the pendulum there. Is that all there is in here? All right, well, I got two exits, so let's go for this one. I guess we're going to the bottom one. Okay. Let's go back. Today is a good day to die. You can buy the first one on, on PlayStation? Okay. That's the only one I haven't beaten. Ah, you shitty. It's tail time. Someone got the baloney emote. I really thought that was going to hurt. But I'm getting the first Gex for Sega Saturn someday. Is there any difference between that and the PS1 version? Will you give the month? I heard it's both best and worst in the series. It's less quippy in it, at least. Uh, it's nothing like these ones. It's a, it's a 2D side scroller. I mean, yeah, I guess he still eats bugs and climbs on walls and shit, but it's very different in 2D. Make it say Saturn has better graphics. Okay. I always had kind of mixed opinions on that. Only because I've seen other games on both consoles that did not look better on Sega Saturn, but I've seen some that did. Ooh. How do I open that? Give me the things. You can put me back up top too. Nice. I play the same, including the 3DO. Okay. Pat, I'll take the floating chair for 200, and the rest on account. Oops. Dreamcast was just the best quality at the time. I would say PC, but PC kind of looked ago back in the 90s and even early 2000s. Yeah, but it had that blocky charm, you know. Um. Also, it's kind of like a... It's almost a tie. Between Dreamcast and PS2, like I think Dreamcast had. Someone would have to get me specifics, but um, I know that certain certain things performed better on Dreamcast, like the the frame rate or something. The anti-aliasing was better on the PlayStation 2. I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass right now, but. I looked into this a while back. Gex, jump on the table, please. And Silent Hill 2 looks like bunghole on PC compared to PS2. It was on PC? That I did not know. FedEx for Roger Corner. Dana Gold was great. Uh, Gex was great. Yeah, he was. Hey, look at that. It's tail time. 
already up to the hockey masks. Thank you, thank you for the follow. Oh wait, is that Lalo? That looks like Lalo. Here we go. Yeah, it had a, a PC physical port, and it was a prototype for the PS2. It sure looked like it. In fact, the PC port was what the HD port was based on. Really? That is interesting. What's going on, Lalo? How you doing? up here for nothing? Just a couple of hockey masks? I mean, I'm okay with that, but... And I know it was you, because I've seen you pop up in other chats with your, your alt account. That's your, that's your TV account, right? This is a maze. I'm following people that I don't have in any other account. Okay. They lost the PS2 code? They just Ready, the PC Jason, port Jason, instead? Ready. How do you lose the code? watching Twisted. Yeah, I saw him go live, but uh, I was like, you know what? Screw it. It's late for me, but I wanted to play Gex for a couple hours. This house is now oh, come on. Clean. thought about that before I continue going up here. Old ones. I get it. It's not because they don't keep files of games they made in 2000s. Companies just didn't know re-releases. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like it happens way too much. Oh. Blood cooler. Or four of those are. I didn't hit the one on this run. And there's the fifth one. A chick stream with my other account. Let's see if she oh, recognizes me. <laughs> Wait, there's more than five blood Get coolers? Shot, oh, there's more than one dead gecko, too. Kingdom Hearts was saved, Ratchet and Clank was kind of saved outside of the cutscenes where models are just T posing. <laughs> I have actually heard about that, now that you mentioned that. Actually, it may have been from you. You're always coming in with the, uh, fun facts and chat. Which is awesome and greatly appreciated. To pay the gravity bill. Only a mother could love. 
What are you, Larry King's father? Ah, oh, you're all right. Well, that's what I call getting some There we go. Go for these right now. Let's see. Because at the time, 16 by 9 or whatever, most devs had the models just slightly out of view. But with HD and requiring full screen, many seeing, uh, seeing models that were never meant to be seen. Oh, yeah. It's kind of hilarious, actually. Let's put me back. Let's put me back at the very beginning. All right. Well, let's get the blood coolers. The real estate wizardry of Tom Vu at work. Square Enix owns Crystal Dynamics now. They'll make an agency collection, or maybe they'll remaster them. I would love that. More than anything, though, I would love a fourth Gex game. Duty. There's actually a Twitch category for, like, Gex Return of the Gecko or something like that. I found that to be an intriguing little bit. Kind of like how there's a Time Splitters 4 category. else that I saw on there that was like a game that didn't exist. It's five. Oh. I don't see benefit of uh, benefit of HD remaster at least. HD were not new thing this day. Even a PS3 hardly run on full HD. It's like we upsized the quality. Yeah. I think we've come far enough from PS1 that you can do that kind of stuff. As evidenced from, uh, like the Insane Trilogy and the Spyro Reignited Trilogy and stuff like that. But I'd rather see a new game than the same thing just with pretty graphics. Like, Spyro Reignited was alright. I have reservations about the ends of the trilogy, but at the same time, Crash 4, brutalizing as it may be, was a lot of fun. There's plenty more where this came from, right? But when it comes to vanilla Crash, I would much rather just play old school Crash. The odds of navigating a floating furniture field are 3,300... It's just to avoid... Ugh, why does it look so bad? But I'm like, you want it or not? It's not much to get the originals, yeah. That was five. Then really ever can force graphics even better. This is true! In fact, I was watching uh, a friend of mine play Ocarina of Time with a texture reaper. And I was like, why does this look so weird? And it's just because it looks nicer. Have I been down here? Yeah, that takes me there. Okay. Camera, stop whistling in my ear, please. Red round, red round. That's why at least Crash 4 is... Oh, let me make that jump. 
a good sign of bringing back a franchise. Like, a remaster is nice to fix some things, not all things. Yeah. Man, have you let this place go? Nap time. I definitely agree with that. Like... Sometimes it can be a really good thing, but sometimes it's just hot garbage. Lily, have you seen Grandpa? And then sometimes things are just better left to the fans. Like, uh, AM2R. I am most certainly not in the vicinity of Kansas anymore. Like, Shin Megami Tensei 3 HD is mixed release a week ago. The music is the same on PS2. Sadly, Grant PC has a mod to fix the audio. But the thing is, is you can pick your skills for demons. Okay. Now, I've still not played any of those games, but I at least now know what SMT means. Say hello to the floor! I designed this scent with you in mind. Say hello to the floor! Ah! Something is bouncing like fucking crazy up there. Ow. Hold that in your pipe and smoke it. Just got to get the kicks, darling. I just... No. They thought of everything. Oh. Not good. Not good. The price tag needs to be adjusted to a expensive remaster game. Yeah. Like, even the HD trilogies of Crash and Spyro were only like $40, I think. And they were whole trilogies. The Imperial fleet would never follow us into a floating furniture field. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good quote. For once. You don't chop, baby, yeah. The issue with that is I should Nice, a release of a 2003 game on modern hardware for people who couldn't, per se, PS2 or PC apparently, Japanese, but don't sell it for $60, like, come on, yeah. No, I 100% I agree there. There needs to be an adjustment. Alright, it's tail time! <laughs> I feel like I'm heading away from the last blood cooler and towards an exit. I'm collecting so many goddamn coins though. I 
don't see any blood coolers in here. All I see is wall faces trying to eat Gecko. At least Sonic Colors Remaster is one of the good examples. Sold at $30. New character play that it wasn't even in the original and near completely remade from the ground up visually. See, like, that's, that's a sign of a good remaster. Sayonara! Devs putting the best interest of the players in mind. Oh, Gex. I wanted the camera to be over there. How the fuck? You crazy fixed up, kid! Oh. Alright. Those blood coolers. I think it's eight. Right. It's eight. Right. Let's go this way. Ursula, I need legs. It's eight legs, right? Sadly, Skyward Sword is in the same vein as SMT3. Is that out? <laughs> My friend wants me to play it really bad. I don't want to touch it, to be perfectly honest. Oh, I was near the last blood pool. Yeah, Skyward. Is, is that out? You are my secret plan. But they did change how the, squ the sword works. Hmm. Oh, I still probably won't play it. I gotta admit, Skyward is probably the only Zelda game I've ever rage quit and never looked back on. You have the swan like grace of a young Nixon. but don't really care. Yeah, it's fair enough. I have extremely minimal interest in playing it. Sure, it has Groose, but you also have a worse Navi. Yeah, you have Fi, or Fi, however you say her name. What's up, Pumpkinhead? There we go, finally! You don't shop, baby! And the funny thing is that I rage quit because of my own goddamn stupidity. Like, I was the one playing the game wrong, and it still pissed me off. It's like, fuck this game! Do I amuse you? Like a clown? Oh, 
Oh right, fire. Okay. Whatever. We beat it. Now I know where the other two are, so we can get them knocked out pretty quickly. Let's get it on. in the chest for Scatman Crothers. And I guess the Gruces loose memes will be back for one or two days. Well, I'd be like, these peasants clap for Skyward on my queen table. <laughs> locked in DS. Yo, I, I, uh, I definitely have a Wind Waker stream coming up. And I will definitely have those tingle pictures, because there was more than just the one you sent me. But they will be up on the corner. Ah, oh, shit. They will be up on the corners of my stream. For the full playthrough. Ow. Concerned about it, I got the secret remote, so no real point in exploring. There's this one, right? Oh. Okay. People has some of the most chip post visuals ever made. Like Buff Tingle's God tier, but she also have a PS1 pig in Tingle Dance. Well, there's a bunch of pictures of Buff Tingle. One where he's holding the lady, one where he's like hiding like some kind of secret agent. And uh, I think the other one he was like in a bar or something. What's Chick doing? Bring out the game. Ew. Really, Gex? You really went there? I don't know if anybody heard that, but I'm pretty sure he said bring out the gimp. I need this. She knew about it. yeah. I was gonna say we're all kind of in the same we're all in each other's chats a lot. Maybe I should make an alt account. It's tail time. Actually, it's uh. Before, like, uh, tail time. I would say September, um, this channel was actually four people, and, um, the other guys, the one guy made his own account pretty early on, the other two guys, they just decided one night to make their own accounts, and I pretty much guessed right away that it was my two friends. Just based off of the account name. Where did you go live today? I don't think I got a notification. But, I mean, you'll get, you'll get more views. 
I'm pretty sure when, when I first started streaming on Twitch, I only ever got viewers if I specifically messaged people like, Hey, watch my stream, please. It took me a while before I started getting like actual viewers. It's tail time. I think Lozo's just been hanging out since I played Siren. Which I appreciate it. I'm I'm glad I'm entertaining. <laughs> yeah, you, you you start from basically nothing and uh yeah, yeah, you build your little community Ooh. all right circuit central we're gonna skip that for now we're gonna go do make a res if you at least do games like this most are doing like Resident Evil 8 which I super don't care about I just play what I like like, there's, there's some new games that I'm interested in playing, but I'm not... I mean, first of all, I'm not in Twitch to get, like, big and, like, get super, like, humongous amount of subscribers and followers and shit like that. You know, like, it's nice. It's definitely, a, like, a, a, a side goal, but um, I just play games, you know? And... If I'm gonna play a game, I may as well be on the internet when I do it, you know? Like, um, my one friend, actually it was my old streaming buddy, Red Racer, put it this way, is, uh, and I, I think I've told this story before, um, when I hang out at his house, we sit on the couch, we play video games, and we chat, you know? When I stream on Twitch, uh, we're not in the same room, but he can still watch my stream and chat. And then, so can as many other people find me that want to stick around and watch me play games and chat, you know? Like, it's, it's no real different than hanging out with buddies. No real difference. Um, definitely, uh, definitely enjoy it. And I just, you know, I happen to play a lot of old games because it's just what I like to play. I notice too, a lot of times I'll go and I'll check the, uh, I'll just check to see how many people are live playing games that I play, and there's like nobody. Riddick, I was the only person on Twitch in the category for Riddick. When I was streaming Manhunt, I was the only person on Twitch in the Manhunt category. This is kind of fun. This Jedi Knight gets some love. Oddly, it has four streams going a day, and I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's a death. Yeah. For me, I just, I, I came into streaming knowing I wanted to play Sayaka. But it's always interesting to see if there's like somebody in there and it's like, are they gonna make it past like level 5? Which is where I usually people give up. I've definitely popped into one or two streams and helped people get past level 5. Yeah, don't, don't feel afraid to look up a guide for this. Morals be damned, you're gonna need help. <laughs> Well, I played it because I wanted to, but mine was more of a vendetta. Really? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I saw somebody playing it, man, like 167 viewers? Is it for Siren? I'd be interested to see how Siren speedrun goes. It's like it's like one of those couple of games that oops, um, I actually have pinned as a category because I'm curious to see how you play it and actually beat it. It's like Siren, Jedi Knight. Uh, Martian Gothic, and like, a couple of others. Almost got him. I also, I get the idea too that, uh, Nothing against people that play popular games, but games. like Apollo wants to play Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. Like, those games get so much attention. And it's not like they're bad games, I enjoy them very much, but when somebody tunes into a stream that that I'm doing, it's because they genuinely want to see that game. And not a lot of people are playing them. So, they happen to like me, they like chatting, and it's even better. Because I'm playing a game that you're not seeing a lot of people play, and... You know? It's cool. I like the little the little community that I've started building. I almost don't want to get too big, because I like talking to chat. If there's like a thousand people in chat, I don't think I can keep up with that. It always gets me as people going, wow, Siren sucks, and I'm like, yeah, of course, but it's not the worst. PS2 era horror was just kind of like that. Granted, Siren was very much a guide game from the start, unlike Kuon or Rule of Rose. Yeah, I beat those games with like zero help. So we got another one of those. Got another one of these. What are the diamonds? So is that three more levels? Twenty-six. I probably have twenty-six. Yeah, I have exactly twenty-six. Use the guide for on the rule of rose was um the the knives because I wanted to get that sword. Like I like my what are you doing now Discord? <laughs> yeah, I just try to. I'm, I'm goofy. It's kind of the neat thing with games like this. The streamer can go at their pace and not feel like they have to compete with everyone else playing the game. Exactly. You know? 
No weddings and a funeral. All right, let's do this one. Let's get it on. Penetrate Rez's inner sanctum. Oh yeah, no problem. That was me sitting at the office between phone calls. Terminator, phone call for a Mr. Terminator. Does this level have a hidden remote? I don't know. But we're gonna go for the collection remote. Not the noise I expected that guy to make. But okay. Yeah, this level does suck, especially because there is actually a way to soft lock yourself. Yeah, this is PS1. Um, this part. It is actually possible to self-lock yourself if that guy gets right on top of you. Remember this upwards pillar part? You have to keep going up with the camera's trash. Yeah. Honestly, that's the biggest problem with this game, is the camera. Pardon my tongue, though. Oh, there is a hidden remote. Not hidden very well, but it's hidden. Welcome to the only thing more evil than IRS headquarters. <laughs> number of PS1 plow forms kind of avoid being this. Yeah. With good reason. No thinking. I am watching. I think I'm actually okay on lives, so just gonna let that float around because that acts as an extra hit point. Did you play Sheep, Dog, and Wolf? No, I gotta, I gotta get that. I played it um, on my Raspberry Pi a while back, like a couple years ago, and it did not. I think it crashed somewhere around the end of the first level, but I do plan to go back to it. I think I would. I mean, it's Looney Tunes, it's goofy. I'd probably really like it. It's all Looney Tunes music, right? It's all, um... What was that, Hanna Barbera? Ow. 
20 nuts. If I remember correctly, that's instant death and not... Um, like, fall damage. Nah, some of it's like 70s porno! Some of it's just fucking jam. Alright, I'll, uh... At least I'll for sure have to give it another shot. It's tail time. oil cans. Don't push me off the side, please. Want a link for a trank? I gotta make. Sure. I did download that one game uh, that you sent me some tracks for. Was it Hylix? I haven't played it yet, but I downloaded it. Dirt cheap on Steam, so it's like fuck it. I'll get this and the second one. All right, one second. It's so itchy. Wow, this is definitely not what I was expecting. This really is fucking jam. Oops. That was death. Death is not jam. I could definitely hunt sheep to this song. Aw, oh, for real? Ah. Dude, that was a sick loop. I could put that on like one of those 30 minute extended loops and just jam. Oh, this section up here? Yeah. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. hoping I get enough of these oil cans to get the, uh, the other remote. Do you fall hard into death zone and it's just the absolute worst? Oh, 
Alright, so that is acid. Terminator, phone call for a Mr. Terminator. Okay. I see. I see, I see. All right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's hear it. Give me now remote. Does anybody call a TV remote a clicker? My grandma used to call it. It's tail time. Let's put back to zero and we good. Oddly relaxing. This is baby making music. Plain and simple. Oh, I need 33 minutes for that. First comment on the extended track. Since the pandemic, I work home and this is the best background music I could ever ask. And ever since it's the extended version, this is pure heaven. Yeah. That is accurate. I'm gonna have to add this to a playlist. Track 1, level 1. So you would've thought I would've heard that one. Okay.
I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup while we listen to this. Just like 8 or 11 tracks to just stick with you after the game is done. Because I can't think of many games that have this kind of style. Oh no, not at all. really care. I'm looking up a guide for some of these hidden remotes. I know where a lot of them are, and I was able to find a lot of them, but the ones I have not found yet, I'll go ahead and look up a guide. One time it actually pointed the camera where it needed to go. Wish I knew about this in college. This would have been great for doing homework. Not gonna find that one. I hope this is the kind of game where you have to like, because I don't remember a whole lot about it. I hope it's the kind of game where you have to like kind of bide your time because I could sit in a level for like 15-20 minutes just jam into this track probably make babies to this track too fuck it This is apparently what you're supposed to do here. Can't even get it to work. Here we go. Yeah, I was not gonna find that. You know what else? This music actually kind of fits with Gex. It's experimental with what you do. Like one level is simply bring the sheep to the spot. Another is like um, bring the sheep dog to a spot by a pan flute. Bonk him with a rock. And grab sheep and bring it quickly to a raft to escape. Interesting. So it's got some variation. I like that. You 
can definitely get behind it when the game is not just the same thing over and over again. Honestly, the, like, the best part is that it's not even like it doesn't fit Gex. In fact, this is actually, this sounds like something that could be in a Gex level. Ah, funny nuts. Although, it sounds like it would be at a Gex level, but not one that they could have put in the game and kept it at a whatever rating they were at. Is like a ghost level? Really? Oops. What? How the fuck? Were you wear a bed sheet into a rhythm mini game before the ghost grab the sheep and worship it? But it's on a turning wardrobe like device. So you need to inflate a pool sheep and replace it when they're not looking. Wow. That's... That's Looney Tunes as fuck. We might just have to play that game on stream. I'll add it to my list, because I did put a list of games in Discord. I love how the shurikens just explode. Really neat game for 2000, like it's stealth but not hard stealth. It's more puzzle elements, but not like puzzles that take forever and the environment changes every time. I do have something lined up for my next game. And I plan on playing the other two Gex games at some point, not right away. Um, but uh, next is going to be, like I said, Wind Waker with Tangle Tuner. Um, I may look into it after that. Another level is a time travel level, so you need to go back to modern and medieval times and plant seeds. Hmm. Fire strikes out. Let's see. Ah, I know where that one is. You 
jump back and forth where it's grown and not grown. The dragon is there. And it travels in one of the wormholes and Ralph the sheepdog slaps its ass silly. Need more Looney Tunes games. Like good ones. Should be the last one I have to get to get caught up. Oh my god. If I can get there. I'm gonna have to send this over to Drifty so when he does his art, he can put this on. But knowing him, he'd probably just listen to Jizz instead. This one I should have found out. This one was obvious. There's a few and they aren't horrible from what I hear, like the Bugs one and the Bugs and Taz one where you use both. There's a Looney Tunes race game which isn't bad, but Space Race has an amazing soundtrack even if the game is a bit too basic. Like, want a track? Uh, yeah, as long as it's nothing DMCA, you can send me anything. I'm always down for some tunage. listen to that during the next bonus stage because that's what I'm going to do after this. Try Looney Tunes Sheep Raider someday. I mean, everything I've heard, it sounds like a great game. This is great racing music. It was actually fitting because I was on a space level and it was called Asteroid Belt.
boat rental. Oh, I kind of remember this one. arms and legs inside the boat. Uh, I have to know. Alright, so I don't break the signs. Should've checked that before I jumped up here. Very nice, very nice. Let's put the other one on. Is it playing? No. This is actually reminding me of the Egyptian level in X3. Mostly because of the sound font. Ask you a question am I part of you guys community of course dude everybody's welcome into our community uh, I can't really make calls on the the team but I mean if everybody everybody approves and you know you're serious about streaming and whatnot I don't have any objections I can't make calls, for, like I said, I can't make calls for, for the team, but... Nah, man, you're definitely part of the community. This one's for you, for, for Lalo, and for everybody else. <laughs> ah man, you're pretty cool in my book. Some some good stuff, Lozo. Definitely appreciate the tunage. Oh god. Is 
What's that? Oh, what the fuck was that movie? That robot was from. I'd stay and look at it longer, but I'm on a timer. Left lane must fly left. Honestly, it's not the quips that make me laugh in Gex. It's fucking like graffiti and the signs and stuff. The wall art. Now that's what I call getting some pain. Star Wars? Kind of. I think if he stands around long enough, he does pull out a lightsaber. Awesome. Ah, so Lalo pulled up the Discord command. So yeah, guys, feel free to join either one of those. The uh, the channel Discord, that's Olive Garden, that's, that's just my server. Um, the Geek Salad server is for my, uh, my one team. I've been drafted into another team, so I'm in two, apparently. Something like that. Um, Geek Salad is, is for, for that other team, and they're a little bit on hiatus at the moment, but they're getting back into things. Pigtail time! I'm in your Discord. Behind one of these doors is a brand new car. We don't really have a um a team server at the moment for uh, the other team, but uh I guess it would be um probably check server. Shocker, bro. A new RPG I super want to check out is called Guardian Crusade. It's really neat for beginner's experience. Half RPG, half pet simulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you did join the, the team server, Lalo. What? Send me down. Battle theme gives Earthbound vibes. Nice. I uh, have not played Earthbound, but I am familiar with the soundtrack. Float like a butterfly, sting like a gecko. Uh, watch it not be the store. Oh, extra life. I'll take it. I was expecting that one to be the hardest, and I beat it in under two minutes. They copied Spyro. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. I like this already.
Alright, so let's get a quick uh, head count. I got Honey I Shrunk the Gecko, Pain in the Asteroids, Samurai Night Fever, Bugged Out, Chips and Dips, Chex Texas Chainsaw Manicure, Mazed and Confused, and then Final Boss. Uh, yeah, I guess I can kind of see that. A little bit of a Spyro vibe. <laughs> I mean, a lot of platformers around that era kind of felt like that. I've started to get more appreciation for RPGs that use not battle theme like music for the battle themes. I've noticed. Hilux is very much the same way. does eat bugs, so maybe some Spyro influence there. Very cool. The only RPG game I've played is Pokemon and Kingdom Hearts. Um, is Kingdom Hearts an RPG? I guess it's an action RPG. It seemed like a light RPG uh, to me. Hi, I'm here for the real world interview. The real world. Wow, Gex. Wow. Yeah, both those games are pretty solid. I kind of fell out of Pokemon. But, um... I played the shit out of Gen 2. Yeah, I guess you do get experience. I kind of forgot about that aspect and just walk, run around and whack and stuff with the big ass key. Into Digimon. My old neighbor used to play uh, one of the Digimon games on PlayStation. I don't know which one. I think Lozo's recommended one of the Digimon games to me. That face. What emotion does that face convey? Pokemon I respect, but I give him more into well? Shimigami Tensei because it's more Pokemon. But more about the aspects I love about Pokemon over what it is now. Yeah. Oh, uh, the texture warble just makes that picture even creepier. Unless it is actually supposed to follow you. No, it's texture warble. I have not played a single Final Fantasy. Are you game. after that old sandwich in my pocket? Dex, yeah, keep talking about a sandwich in your pocket. That's gross. Eat it or throw it away. Final Fantasy X is nice. Digimon's neat, you get the world 
which is like Pokemon, but done by people who know how to rig in 3D. <laughs> Well, did you not? Because they talk and act like people, but Pokemon, they're just animals as slaves for battle commands. Yeah. Okay, okay. Vita loves Pokemon. If there's really much of a point in collecting all these things. I don't think there's a, a reward remote. But they're extra lives, I guess. That's cool. Digimon, the stakes, and just overall the world has more to it. Like trees are plugged into the ground. Some fallen trees of power sockets? What? Nah, that's just crazy talk. This is what Tim Burton thinks about when he's in the tub. Ew. Question, if you put a strong Pokemon and a strong Digimon fight together, which one would win? I think Digimon. Uh, I don't know enough about Digimon to answer that question. Logic would tell me whichever one has the type and, and build advantage. But I don't know how typing and stuff like that works in Digimon. Like, is it still the same as Pokemon in a sense? I don't know. Who forgot to pay the gravity bill? that way, which is just health, okay. Oh. Tables are dumping me now. I just realized how late it is. suck in the morning because it is morning forget about it there's plenty more where this came from camera please ah oh, jeez Never the dog, baby. Ah. And meat grows in the ground over veg. Because the Digimon world thinks meat grows on farms as literal. Pokemon mean pocket monsters. Digimon is digital monsters. My favorite's Agumon, and Warp falls into Orgreymon. Mine is the bunny one with long ears. Carrier Mon. The strongest Digimon is like apocalyptic tier. Like Digimon often goes into the fact if Digimon ever hacked into the real world servers via the Digimon world, they could set off nukes. Guide military. So this missiles. is Never Neverland. You never guess it from the outside. But aren't there Pokemon that are also like literal gods? 
Like, that's their religion. It's the religion of Pokemon. Son of a bitch. Shit out, get an extra life. The Digimon movie goes into a literal guided missile about to hit Tokyo, but thankfully the Digimon lost connection to the missile exploded mechanism. It was shut down by the government before it go off. That's nuts, dude. What are you gonna do? Boink. It's tail time. <laughs> okay, dokey. Save. 75%? Wow. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? So well, you should be because you are dirt! You make me sick, you big baby! Amazed and confused. That's probably the last one up here. There's only like handful of levels that I haven't done yet. Oh shit! But that should be What are you doing? Go! Let's go fuck out of here, you stupid idiot! Fuck we're all dead! Get the fuck out! Pokemon's a little odd because RC should be the strongest, but like it can be beaten by lower forms. It's more Dragon Ball, I guess, with power levels where they're strong, but can be beaten. Yeah, I don't know. Pokemon went a little too deep. They jumped a few sharks, I think. have access to more bonus levels, but I don't see them. Unless I don't actually have access to them yet. Like one should appear there. Okay, that one. Yeah, that one. I can do like one more, but I think everything else is a full level. Yeah. This one has like 
an android T-Rex with nipple muscles? Or a rabbit with machine gun hands? I think Pokemon went much long and it's the same thing. Never age Ash never ages like he started. Since you know how to battle this Pikachu. Yeah, Ash is forever ten years old. Alright, yeah, I guess that's all the bonus rounds that I have active at the moment. So we'll pick up with an actual level on the next stream. Ah, uh, because I do have to get to bed, it's getting on order two. But, uh, whoo! Good stuff, good stuff. Actually, it was a. Uh, quite a few people popping in tonight. We had, uh. Uh, Brawlio, which was Lalo's other account, followed, which is cool. Uh, Tuda Webs followed and gave 100 bits, which is really fucking awesome. Cochise is a, a Cardi clone. Followed. That was really cool. So, that's some, a little bit of growth tonight. That's, that's really cool. I appreciate it, you guys. Digimon thankfully avoids... Yeah. The main group go from 13 to 15 to 22 with their own careers. And there's a movie that has the main two give up on their Digimon and essentially let them go forever. And so that's how, that's how Pokemon should end. I should just like raid the Poke Centers and just liberate all the Pokemon. Like, why do Pokemon's wrong? They shouldn't be in captivity. <laughs> I want to eat Tauros meat. I like the Digimon. And the main character has to hit a Digimon to evolve. Digivolve Agumon. Yeah, I I never got much into it. I think I saw a handful of episodes, but not nearly enough to understand anything that's going on. Ah, uh, but. But, 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 let's see who's online. Drifty Quest Chick, Twisted. Slobe is playing Fighting Force. I haven't played, oh my god. I think I tried to play Fighting Force like a couple months ago. And I was so bad at it. What's Quest up to, though? Playing the most controversial Final Fantasy. Oh god. That can only be good. Gex, Pix, you're late! I'm about to raid! <laughs> I would rather, like... An ever-changing main character for Pokemon instead of hard-setting on just Ash. Hear me out. Crossover between Pokemon and JoJo. It's just the next generation every season. Play more Stick Boy. Dude, it's a quarter to two. JoJo Mon. Boxes might not sleep, but I do. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and raid my buddy Quest. Who is apparently playing the most controversial Final Fantasy. Uh, before I do that, though, let me give some shout-outs. The, 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 the fox who just showed up. Um... Who else here is a streamer? We got Lalo, who is just starting out. Yeah, Pix, how's your leg? Got Van Osdell. Do you stream Van?
Funny. Funny. Who else can I, uh... He was at the very beginning of chat, but Cuckoo Donut's here. We'll go ahead and shout out Cuckoo Donut. Do sometimes, but not recently. Fuck it, we'll give you a shout out anyway. So whenever anybody uh, happens to see him online, check him out. Playing Banjo-Kazooie. Nice. Pix is probably, like, subscribed already. But, uh, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. Thank you guys very much. It's great to see everybody popping in. It's great to see new faces and whatnot. But yeah, fun. Leg. Fuck it. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> but, alright, guys. I will catch you all in the next stream. Until then, you have a great night, great day, whatever time it happens to be for you, and I will catch you in the next stream. So, bye.